Dozens of Tunisian lawyers protested Thursday against a VAT hike for their profession that goes from 13% to 19%. Led by Bar Chairman Hatem Mizyu, the lawyers gathered in front of the Palace of Justice in Tunis, and others protested on other sites. On the occasion of a day of anger decreed by the National Order lawyers against the 2023 finance law, which is part of a measure to increase tax revenue. This is a day of anger. We will wear a red armband all the day during the protest set in which will take place from 9 to 11 a.m. We refuse to allow the interests of citizens to be hindered. Organized by the Young Collective Doctors for Tomorrow and supported by several unions, liberal doctors took to the streets on Thursday afternoon in Paris to obtain a revaluation of the consultation. The government saying it was ready if it is reasonable and if the health needs of the French are met. Quality medicine has a cost, and we are being pushed to do low-cost medicine with consultations at 25 euros, where the National Health Insurance Fund implies that we should see six patients per hour. I do a lot of complicated consultations with the elderly. I find it inhuman to impose a 10-minute consultation on them. If I chose to be a doctor, it's for the human relationship and the care, and for that it takes time. Union leader warned on Thursday that the worst wave of strike action to Great Britain in decades could continue through 2023 as no sector is willing to back down, underlining the scale of the challenge facing British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. There is a cost of living crisis, inflation is ramping through the roof. Um, after four years, my people feel they deserve a pay rise. Inflation ran at 14% last year, it's in double digits this year. Effectively, people have seen a 25% cut in their uh, their disposable income and their real wage. How long can that go on for? Burning buses blocked roads in Colican on Thursday after the son of Mexican drug baron Joaquin El Chapo Guzman was arrested in the city. Video on social media showed burned out and burning vehicles as violence spread across the city, closing the airport.